Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we are discussing what is the Godot game engine. Godot can be used to create 2D and 3D games. It is a popular game development engine which means that it has an application that you can use to build out games. With Godot you can build cross-platform games meaning games for different platforms like mobile, web, and for console. It's completely free to use Godot, and Godot is open source, which means you can actually edit the game engine itself if you'd like and add extra features. There are no fees to use Godot or to publish games with Godot. Godot was released under MIT license, which means it is completely copyright free and you don't have to pay any royalties. Godot was written in the C++ programming language. Development began back in 2001 and the official open source release was first released in 2014. Godot has a node-based architecture similar to Unity or Unreal. We'll get into nodes later in this course. Godot along with Unity and Unreal are popular game engines for building 2D and 3D games. Godot has a 2D engine for pixel coordinates where you can make 2D games and applications. Godot also has a 3D renderer where you can build 3D games and simulations. It's easy to program with the Godot game engine. Godot has an object-oriented API or application programming interface. There are different options for how you can write the game functionality for your games. You can code in GDScript, C Sharp, or C++, or you can do visual scripting, which we're going to do in our course. This means you are going to be coding visually with scripting nodes. C Sharp support was granted for the Godot game engine thanks to a generous donation from Microsoft, so you can code in GDScript, C Sharp, or C++ if you are interested in using a coding language. GDScript is Godot's integrated scripting language written specifically for Godot. It's called GDScript, short for Godot script. It's similar to Python in its reduction of complexity, so it's meant to be a simple language. It's less performant than lower level languages in the long run, like C++, but it is a fast, friendly way of building a game. So if you do want to build a game fast or you want to just prototype or build a small game, a small product, then GDScript is a great option for you as well as visual scripting. The Godot community made this language specifically for Godot. GDScript is lightweight and has a straightforward syntax and provides the tightest integration with the Godot engine. You can also combine languages. You can build gameplay logic in Visual Scripting and GDScript, and then you can use C Sharp or C++ to implement more complex algorithms and functionality if needed. With GDScript and Visual Scripting, it's fast to write, and you can even let level designers design their own scripts with Visual Scripting. But then if you do want to have complex game functionality or improve performance, you can use C Sharp or C++ in addition. If you are a beginner, we recommend starting off with Visual Scripting and with GDScript. Visual Scripting is what we're using in our course. This is a graph-based visual programming language where you connect blocks. And the blocks, or nodes, represent pieces of code. So you're still using programming concepts, but you're doing it visually. And this is a great place for beginners to learn how to code and to grasp programming concepts. This is great for new game developers, game designers, and artists. You can use other languages to create custom blocks specific to your game, such as artificial intelligence, quests, or dialogues. So you can actually build your own visual scripting nodes if you're not satisfied with the existing nodes. But likely, as a beginner, you will be satisfied with the existing visual scripting nodes. So that is an introduction to the game engine. Coming up next, we're going to discuss what you can do with the Godot game engine, including the types of games you can build and where you can export models you can use as well. So don't miss the next lecture. In this lecture, we are discussing what can you do with Godot. Godot games can be exported in one click to a number of platforms like major desktop platforms, Linux, Mac, Windows, computers, 
mobile platforms like Android phones and iOS phones, and web-based platforms like HTML5, so if you want to put your game on a website. The editor can be used on any computer, Windows, Mac, or Linux, and there's even an online editor if you want to just use Godot online instead of installing it. You can export your games to Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, and web. It's free to download Godot and use it for any purpose, personal, nonprofit, commercial, or otherwise. You can even modify Godot itself and redistribute it as much as you'd like, non-commercially and commercially, because Godot is completely MIT licensed, which means you can actually edit the game engine yourself and use whatever you'd like with those edits that you made to the game engine itself. You would typically do this if you're more of an advanced programmer. Godot supports 3D models for 3D games, GLTF 2.0, Collada, Object, and FBX files for static meshes. So you can use 3D models that you buy or get for free or build in Godot. You can install Godot to your computer or use Godot online completely for free. In terms of debugging Godot, you can read common issues at the official GitHub page for Godot. You can read more about troubleshooting Godot at the Godot Engine docs. This is the documentation or the official website for the Godot Engine. There is quite detailed documentation all about Godot. So if you do have any questions about Godot, I encourage you to read their documentations. Troubleshooting the web editor is also available on the Godot Engine if you do have issues using the web editor. You can learn with the community at the Godot documentation as well. Next up, we're going to jump into building a Godot project, navigating the Godot editor, and then jumping into building our first game. So join me in the next lecture. Welcome back to our introduction to the Godot game engine. In this lecture, we're going to show you how to install Godot. You can also use the Godot online engine, which doesn't require any installation, but it does have limited features. So we recommend that you do install Godot. Go to godotengine.org slash download, and here you can have options for downloading based on what computer you have. Do you have a Linux computer, a Mac, Windows, or a Linux server? Commonly, you'll likely have a Mac or Windows computer. So if you have a Mac, Apple computer, choose which version of an Apple computer you have. So here, Universal 64-bit, which is the st standard version, or the Universal 64-bit for the mono version, which allows for C-sharp support. You can just use the standard version for this course because we're not going to be using C-sharp. The requirements are that you must have OpenGL compatible hardware, which you should have with your Mac computer. The instructions is you click on one of these buttons, preferably the standard version, and then you have to double click on the file that is downloaded to run the installer. You can also get Godot via Homebrew or Mac ports via the command line. We are using version 3.4.4 in this course, and you can find previous releases on the download repository. We recommend that you, you use the same version that we're using in this course, but you can use any other version. Note that there may be differences if you're using an older or a newer version, because as there is a new version of Godot, it slightly changes the name of the nodes, name of the functions, maybe the interface changes a bit. So if you experience any issues, then just use the same version that we are using. For Windows, you just go to the Windows tab if you do have a PC Windows computer. We recommend the standard version, 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on your computer. Likely, you'll have a 64-bit computer because 32-bit is slightly outdated. But you can check which version you have by searching up on Windows in the computer search bar. What bit version do I have? So search up bit version. Likely you'll have 64-bit, it's a newer version for Windows. We don't need the mono version of Godot because we don't need C-sharp support. We have the same requirements for Windows, the same steps. You just click the button to download and then you have to go to that downloaded file and open it to run the installer. You can also get Godot with Scoop via the command line. And again, you can find previous releases on the download repository. 
So that is how you can install Godot. I will see you coming up next where we're going to learn how to build a new Godot project. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.